Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Vivekanandan, Head and Resident Professor of Microbiology in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am talking about spoilage of different groups of foods. This is unique to in uh, food uh, microbiology, uh, the spoilage of food. What is the definition of food spoilage? It is any undesirable changes in the appearance of the food sources at the, some, at the same time some smell or taste of the food that makes it unacceptable to consumer it is called as a food spoilage. Food spoilage is nothing but it is undesirable changes in the appearance of the smell or taste in our food sources. That means it is a nutritional value, textures and flavors also will be damaged by the spoiled organism. So at the, at the same time the food becomes harmful to people and not too suitable to eat. Generally it is a complex event in which combination of microbial and microbial activities it will be may interacted at the time. So different types of food spoilage is available. There are three basic types of food spoilage in, uh, in this chapter. First one is physical spoilage. It's generally it's called the moisture loss or grain. Sometimes the over moistures will be affected our food source vegetables and food food sources at the same time. Sometimes the moisture is very less the, the dryness appearing on the surface of the food sources. At the same time some other chemical spoilage is available. Chemical spoilage means the oxidation of fat content and browning of fruits and vegetables. The microbial spoilage also the third important types of spoilage. It is the growth of microorganism in appearance of the food surfaces. At the same time, some other the production of some other enzyme sources also it will be inhibit our uh, food contaminant. So, what are the main causes of food spoilage? The major causes of the food spoilage, there are the different criteria. First one is activities of microorganism, then activities of natural food enzymes and insects, parasites, and also some other rodents. Sometimes over temperature both heat or cold the over high cold also will be affect the uh, food condition then environmental factors then light sources then time of food storage these are all the main characters of the food spoilages of the vegetables some other common available food sources then what are the activities of microorganism generally microorganism is capable of spoiling of foods or available commonly present in soil and water and air and sometimes the skin of the cattle and fruits and some vegetables. On the feather of the poultry, it the falls of or grains and cells of nuts. On the clothing and skin of handling personal, these are the main activities of microorganism. Then action of natural food enzymes also. It is the endogenous enzymes in plant and animal. First of all, you can know very well about what is the endogenesis or exogenous. Endogenesis means the inside the food content. Exogenous means the outside the food content. These are the common factors. Then what are the examples? The enzyme, the browning, the browning appearance the vegetables. This is the banana contains some of the brownish colors will be appear on the surfaces. These are all the main. So then ripening. Ripening means some of the enzymes involved in the process. The ripening certain fruits of fruits and vegetables. These are all the main examples. Then what are the environmental factors? Air, oxygen, Sometimes food color, some of the oxidation reaction, then light sources, these are the commonly disturbing the environmental factor, factors of our food conditions. Okay, what are the different types of food? Is only highly perishable food means which are spoiled rapidly. Include the poultry, eggs, and meat products, these are the commonly available in highly perishable food. Then semi perishable food spoiled less quickly, include the potatoes, apples. Some nut mates is the, the semi perceptible. Non perceptible means the kitchen items, example, so cereal, rice, flour, sugar, these are the non perishable foods. Okay, spoilage of the fruits and vegetables. The main agent is bacteria, is used by Erbinia caratona. These are the majorly available in the food spoil, the cauliflower. Then black mold rots in your tomato and rice overs and the altered area rot. Then spoilage of cereals, especially aspergillus, penicillium, mucor, rhizobus, fusarium, these are the spoilage of these cereals. Example bacteria like the astobacter and coliforms, and then micrococci and bacillus. The spoilage of milk source caused by the lactobacillus and the streptococcus species, 
some organisms will produce some gas production caused by coliform bacteria as the clastridium yeast and bacillus then what is the proteolysis what will be proteo means the protein content will lysis mean inhibit the example the organism bacillus and micrococcus and pseudomonas are flavobacterium then at the same time spoilage of egg products coliform bacteria and proteus species this spoilage species the mainly causative agent is pseudomonas and vibrio species the spoilage is in meat condition the surface of meat is present in the some uh, contamination example for the hands implements used to cut the meat hairs some intestines of the animals these are the spoilage of the meat condition then commonly occurred organisms micrococcus streptococcus and salmonella so mostly the gliadosporium and geotrichum mucor penicillium these are the major fungus they just less commonly occurring in yeast condition yeast organism okay then what happens up when we eat your spoiled food first one is the food poisoning is the food poisoning and swallow of the food then we water are be contaminated then example staphylococcus essentia coli these are all the major causative agents of food poisoning what are the symptoms of food poisoning is nausea and vomiting these are the common symptoms in food poisoning then botulism botulism is the causing the clastridium botulinum this is one of the major uh, pathogenic organism it produces seven types of different toxins the neurotoxins then how to prevent your food spoilage use the thermometer use in your refrigerator and freezer remove the expired or spoiled food sources store food in the right parts of your refrigerator then prevent mold growth in the refrigerator then prevent freezer then food preservation with the temperature treatment methods available then removal of water then removal of air then the ph will be altered okay the 25% of the mold food supply is lost to spoilages okay i will refer the different uh, kind of website the google and uh, blagarism and the plant science research then essential of food microbiology and uh, michael bolser these are the common uh, reference books in our chapter thank you